All right, guys. Hey, it's Doc Shell, and welcome to Dr. Test Prep. Before I start Unit 8, I just want to do this video to really, really emphasize. If you have a limited time to prepare for the SAT or the PSAT, like less than a week, even less than a couple of days, if I had to pick which unit that you should watch all the videos, even though there's 24 of them, most of them are under 10 minutes, um, I think, because I haven't recorded them yet. Unit eight is the reason. Let's look at why. Remember that a college board wrote your test. They created the Blue Book app to help you practice. College Board Blue Book talks with Khan Academy. Khan Academy creates a personalized program with you using their AI tech. Now, the only thing that sucks about Khan is their videos. Because first of all, I find that students do better when they can look at facial expressions and people and stuff like that. However, their videos were made before you could use a Desmos calculator on every question. Now you won't need it on every question, but you have the option. So let's take a look on the left-hand side of my screen. This is what is on your SAT. The math section focuses on the areas of math that play the biggest role in college and career. Algebra, advanced math, problem solving, and data analysis. You'll have two modules. You'll have multiple choice, and student produced responses. And 30% of them will relate to real life, which is why a lot of the questions I created for you are situational, okay? I mean, remember one of the videos, I even looked up true statistics on the cost to cross the bridge. And all my questions are in this book on Amazon. If you wanna buy it for $14.95, if you have a limited time, it probably won't get there in time. But if you have a couple weeks, I would buy it only because it'll keep you organized, okay? I'm a teacher, I'm not a company. I have it as very inexpensive compared to other books. Really the value is the videos and you following along the videos. The, this is just to keep you organized, but a paper and pencil notebook works great too. But moving on, why is advanced math so important? Well, there's four categories. Questions from all four categories will appear in each one of the two modules. Remember, the first module will be a mix of easy, medium, and hard questions. Based on how well you do on those, your next module will be mostly easy, medium, or mostly medium, hard. And I'm overgeneralizing, but you get the idea. What happens is across each module, questions are arranged from easiest to hardest. So they're gonna start getting harder as you go. But if you've studied some topics over others, you might get a couple wrong and then find some topics you understand. But again, Doc, why advanced math? Look at how the breakdown is. 13 to 15 questions relate to algebra. 13 to 15 questions relate to advanced math. And only five to seven questions relate to problem solving and five to seven to geometry. So the algebra and advanced math topics will make up 26 to 30 questions of your test. So look at the topics on the right hand side. So this is just the, the table of contents of the lessons in my book, right? Well, remember that unit two is the foundation level of algebra, but unit six is the medium level of algebra. So if you understand the medium content, you for sure will understand the easier content and the Desmos calculator works the same. Okay. So also, Look at the topics in algebra, linear equations, linear relationships, linear equations. Look at the topics in advanced math, quadratics, operations with polynomials, quantities, quadratics, linear equations again, quadratics, exponentials. My point is, if you can understand the advanced math section and the techniques that I teach you at the Desmos calculator, you will most likely be able to take those techniques and help you with the algebra questions too. And because it makes 26 to 30 of the questions on your test, knowing those techniques the best, and when I mean techniques, I mean, don't mean like cheats or anything. I mean, using the Desmos calculator correctly into its full power, this is, well, full easiest power. I'm not teaching you formulas and scripts, but basically like this is super important. So this next series, which will be 24 more videos because there's 12 lessons. How many, I don't even know how many there's, ooh, there's more than 24 videos. There are 13 lessons that we're gonna be covering in unit eight. And each lesson has two videos. So we have 26 more videos after this one. Like I'm telling you, if you learn the techniques you will be able to go so far. So this is a very important playlist. And I'm not just saying it to get views. I promise you, 
I am not saying it to get views. I love what I do. I love helping teens like you. I'm telling you, if you learn the techniques I'm going to be teaching with the Desmos calculator, which the Khan Academy videos do not offer as of Jan or spring 2024, it's going to make such a difference. Okay. So please bear with me. And when I tell you to open up the gosh darn Des or Desmos calculator, please open it up. When I ask you to set it, to choose assessment college board, you need to do that. If you don't, you will not have the same power and capabilities that I have. This will be the calculator that you, they will give you for free on the test. If your families have spent a hundred or so dollars on other calculators, great, but I'm telling you, use the Desmos calculator because it is super, super, super powerful. Okay. I've talked enough. In our next video, we'll move on to the first lesson, the basic examples, which will be factoring quadratics and polynomials, which is on page 142 of my book. I'm telling you, this is the unit. If you only have time to watch one playlist, this is the playlist. Like this is it right here. See you soon. Bye.